for this. Okay. What's poppin', good to, man? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, man. Same here, bro. <laughs> and I, I, I see what you've been doing, man, and I, I heavily admire it, man. And I, you know, I see, I see, I see exactly where you're going with it, bro. And I, I want to say I appreciate the motivation that you give, bro. For real. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Me, it means a lot, man. You know, um, I think it, I think it took way too long for me to to start to start sharing it like this, right? You know, like, um. It, but it, it's 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 on your own time when you feel comfortable in being able to share it this way, Definitely. you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, man, I don't think back to say, yo, like y'all regret not sharing from 2005 when I, you know, started documenting. Right. Um. But to be able to go back. And grab, you know, and grab it now. Tell those, tell those stories efficiently, and how I'm able to tell them now and articulate it now is so much. Uh, I think it's it's more comfortable, and I think it's more impactful to be sure. able, to, you know, now in real time. You're doing it in real time, right? So, uh, story is the. And I'm and and trust me, I'm I'm like a I'm still a I'm a I'm a student. Right. I'm learning, you know, I'm learning as as we go along. Yeah. And uh it's you know, I love to be able to share it because I see guys like you. I'm like, man, like you gonna, you know what I mean, you're gonna be coming and I see the things that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Just believe me, trust me. You may not think, but yo, people watch it. Definitely, absolutely. <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't know, you know what I'm saying, but you don't, and you don't know who is watching. So that's always a key point. Exactly. And um, yeah, so I, I've been, I've been watching, I've been watching you for a while. So you know, what I mean, and then just to add, with add to what you were saying in regards to documenting in real time, a lot of us, well, me and personally, I don't like to talk about the struggle until I get out of it. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why I respect what you do so much that you know you you're in the moment. And I think back to like all of your different ventures and um when you when you had the box truck, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. stuck under the uh the you know the Vidox or <laughs> yeah, you know, been, like, you've been grinding it out, man. So like, like yeah. but one one thing I am like positive about is like universal law and like the work that we put in will be rewarded. It ain't like you know waiting for something to happen. Like you're being proactive and doing what you're doing and is it man? Right. It's, it's it's definitely it's definitely dope, man. You're not waiting for anything to happen or waiting for somebody to come save you per se. You know you're making your own way and taking a risk and you know move. You know you moved out of the country and that's that's even dope, man. I just got my, I I just applied for my passport not too long ago, so I'll be yeah. definitely taking a trip out there, man. When, yeah, man. Um, come, yeah, come to come 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 hang out in all at all dreams, man. <laughs> Man, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, man, come hang out at all dreams, bro. Like, it's nothing but nothing but positive energy. You know what right. I mean? Like, every single man, I'm talking about, man, every single day, bro. Like, it's that's that's part of the reason why I'm able to do this journey the way I'm able to do it is because of the environment. You already know, like, your environment is exactly. so so important to your journey. Absolutely. You know? And um, for me to be able to man, not, not me, but for God to basically place me into, you know what I mean? This predicament right. in the universe or whatever, you know, like, it's like, man, it's, it's been life changing for me. Yeah, man. And but, uh, 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 the aesthetic, you know, the, you know what I mean? It's, but like you said, the space, you know what I mean? I, I, I like to really be focused on keeping a clean area, clean space, because that way my mind is clear. Mind is clear, bro. My so, yo, mind is clear, bro. But yo, just going back real fast, like being comfortable in in sh- in in share and sharing the journey, right? Yeah. Um, I think it's like I had to get, I had to get uncomfortable in sharing the journey to in order to get comfortable because yo, no way in the world last year, year before, prior, I would be talking about getting rejected by accelerators and not having them, you know what I mean, and not having the money to do this and that, you know, doing that. Because right. it was all about a look, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like when I'm living in Buckhead, all that shit, like that shit was like all a look, really. Right. You know what I mean? And 
you you wasn't com I wasn't comfortable in just being co just honest. And I believe honesty and transparency and in in that authenticity, that is what gets the real people that you really really want. No matter if you no matter if you have a million people that follow you because you have a fucking uterus, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the people most, you know what I mean? If you have some things, people gonna follow you because of that. Damn, I want that, I want that, right? But yeah. the authenticity people that's following you because of you and the journey and like that you're, you know, willing to share that with them because yeah. nine times out of 10, most of these people are going through the similar Same things. thing. Exactly. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why they talk about like the 1%, you know, the 1%, they have their problems as well, right? But um, the more people that you're going to affect is the more people that's going to be like you anyway, because there's more of us than them. Exactly. So exactly. That's why I'm like, yo, like, man, I have no problem in sharing this journey and then document it because, yo, ultimately, you know, we look back on this and be like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's so that's that's you know that, that's the reason why I'm kind of like so transparent and sharing it now than I ever was. You know what I mean? Like I'm like super super comfortable in doing that. So you should when the millions when the millions start coming, in. yeah, when the millions start coming in and it's like you looking back to where you were before and then also just entrepreneurs like people don't understand how difficult this, it is to so you know, lean solely on yourself and. People need that resignation. You know, that's why, you know, that's why the program that I do with the workshops, it helps a lot because it's not even just about business, but people in general, like, you know, I may have like a group of three women come in to do the workshop and right. one of the women is, uh, has no kids and the other woman same doesn't have any kids either. But what happens is they're both dealing with people uh, draining them. So like, you know, they don't even have kids of their own, but they're doing for everybody else's kids. And now it's the expectation. And like, you know, most of the times you're talking to yourself. So to be able to have that person to be able to connect with, you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely, a, um, you know, it's definitely a plus, man. I hope you keep going. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's 100%. Man, I, yeah, I, lo I really, I love what you're doing, bro. I love what you're doing. Yo, so, <laughs> look, all right, so let's, let me, let me get into this. So this is not like something where, yo, like, yo, I want... I want you to invest in a company. I'm I'm actually practicing, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm practicing my pitch. Definitely. And um before you wouldn't be able to even invest into a startup because you would have to be an accredited investor. I'm not sure if you know anything about that. So you have to have like a million dollars net worth or whatever. And right now I'm kind of flirting with the the opportunity to do this thing called WeFunder as a platform where startups can raise money uh from regular people and they don't mm -hmm. have to invest a thousand i think like the low the lowest amount is like a hundred bucks or something like that but you have to raise a certain amount in order to go to a you know a ne the next round and mm -hmm. because of everything that i've went through in raising you know because we haven't raised money besides you know what i mean like now i have my 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 uh my landlord that's he's got an equity partner but he, he's putting in a check but then I also had this program I'm going through called Launch New York and the okay. final big program. And in a, maybe like a month or two, I'll be able to pitch their, pitch them for uh, an investment. And they have three investment funds. So I'll be able to pitch all three of their investment funds. I think, I think personally, like the Founders Go Big program is for uh, minorities. So I'm right. pretty sure that I'll get that check. But right. I want the bigger check, like the, yeah, that right. check is like twenty five k. But I want the right. bigger check. I want the hundred k check. You know what I'm saying? That's so um, I'm I'm kind of toying with this we funder thing to see if people would want to invest in our dreams on that you know on that side as well because and I want to be selective on who I even want to even be a part of it, right? You know I, mean? I don't want people that's like yo like I don't, like. Of course, the more I go along in this journey, the less I'm even accepting people to come in. Like, once the platform is built in October and we start making money from it, it's probably like, nah, I really don't need you. I really don't I need you. You already got the, the flow. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I think the revenue will be able to su substantiate even just building on a bootstrap level. And the Definitely. beauty of it, I've never had like a ton, a ton of money to work with. So therefore, right. like I'm used to this bootstrap thing anyway, right. you know. So, um, 
I want to go through my I want to go through my deck and then I want you just to shoot questions, ask as much as you want, and, okay. you know, and then so I want to see you understand everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, share my screen real fast, Hold on. and then I'm gonna pull up the. Uh, can you see? Yeah, I see it. All right, cool. So I'm gonna pull up my deck right here. Is right. Power okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So I already had it already ready for you. So of course, you know what I'm saying? Like you already know the the company is called All Dreams. Mm -hmm. Um this kind of goes in a little bit about myself, uh, who I am, four time business founder, probably founded more businesses than that, but those are the four that I'm, you know that I've actually scaled a bit. So okay. I played basketball as a pro in 2000, 2003, 2004 in Argentina, HBCU alum. So one of the reasons why I started this company is because I was my own customer, to be honest with you, right? Um, in 2004, I was at like this crazy crossroads. I thought I was going to play basketball for my whole life, at least, you know, until I was my age now. And, uh, I got cut my second season in Argentina. And they said, hey, go down. You can go down to a lower level team. The level's in pro, right? So they said, you can try try to go down to a lower level team and maybe 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 go there and then you can go back. Yeah. So at this point, I didn't know that this is how overseas basketball is. Just, it's an unstable. It's, it's just unstable. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm thinking, yo, once I got a contract, yo, I'm going to be here just like in the NBA. You know, I'm going to be here for at least four, four or five years, and I'm going right. to be stable. But it's just it's, 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 it's very, very uh, tormental situation where you can have an off shooting in practice and they, like, cut you. I didn't wow. know that. You know what I'm saying? So I called my dad, and I'm like, yo, what should I do? You know, like, they said I can go down to, a, to the lower level, try that. You know, or should I just come home? He's like, yo, bro, you get, he basically said, you get older and you need to find another career. So my dad is blue collar. I don't take nothing away from him saying that. I shouldn't have took advice or whatever. I shouldn't have took that advice. I, could, I should have kept playing. I took his advice and I left. You know, I yeah. left. And that was basically the end of my, that was basically the end of my career, right? Right. And I built this because now what if I had a community of people that was following my journey was like, yo, Man, keep yo go go down to the lower level team, man. We want to watch this journey, and we'll subscribe in order to watch this journey, right? right. That would have changed my complete trajectory. Who knows where I would have actually went, right? And most athletes come to that point where they're like, "Yo, what do I do?" All athletes basically come to that point. Definitely. You know, John Wall is at that point. He's played a great NBA career. He said, "Look, man, I still want to play," yeah. right? So basically, I was in my own customer. So, and the problem came is, you know, I didn't reach my full potential, you know? Mm -hmm. So the problem is amateur athletes around the world are unable to reach their full potential due to the, the lack of exposure and also financial support. So if I would have got people to subscribe and be like, yo, you know, and that would have helped me out. Yeah. To possibly reach my full potential, right? So that's a problem. And it's also a problem that I've seen in talking to other athletes as well whether they are trying to um, get their fees for to play uh, Little League football, AAU, they right. just don't have the money. They need, they need some type of support. And then when you get to high school level, they need support, but they also ain't getting the right exposure, right? You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's so many athletes. Right. So that's the problem. And the solution is all-in-one story sharing and fundraising method dedicated to amateur athletes that builds a community easier and more efficient than anything that's out there in the market today. Okay. That's, that's our solution. And our customers are amateur athletes looking to establish their career. Mm -hmm. So for amateur athletes, I'm, st I'm starting from sixth grade. That's target all the way. I would say until freshman, we want to, Get those, we want to get those on the platform, that group. We want to get them on the platform so then they're the next generation of athletes. So now 
guess what? The next generation of athletes is going to be using our platform sort of like they would be using Instagram. Everybody yeah. knows about Instagram, right? So that's so that's our target customer. And this is the product that we're building. Oh. So you search an amateur athlete anywhere in the world, okay? You can visit their profile and watch public videos. So they'll have public videos that you can actually watch. You can become a supporter and get access to the amateur athlete's private dreamers vault. So say you like an athlete or say your cousin is an athlete and he's on a platform and he sends you the link. Right. You can watch his public videos. Yo, damn, I want to support him. You know what I'm saying? So you can support him and get access to his private video. So now you can watch his complete journey as he's going along. So mm -hmm. now what the, what happens is the amateur athlete is building a community and a place to store their, store their videos and share their story, their athletic journey, right? And then the last slide, the last part is the amateur athlete is earning money for their dream, mm -hmm. right? So that's the product that we're building. Now, what's our business model? Our business model is this. We take 10% uh, transaction fee on each supporter transaction. So it's mm -hmm. two sides of it, okay? So the drink, so the amateur athlete, they want to store their videos. They want to have access to make products, build their community out. All of that they can they can use for $7.99 per month or $7.99 for the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, everyone has videos on their phone. This alleviates all of that. So you have right. parents. Taping their video, taping their kids at training, taping their kids' games. It's all on their camera roll. They're putting some of it on their Facebook, some of it on Instagram. Our platform gives them a place to share, I mean, to store all of their videos of their sports journey dedicated for the athlete. Okay. And that's what they're paying for for the premium account. Okay. So now what happens is people that are supporters, you want to support that kid in Zambia. Yo. I got a hundred bucks right now and I want to support 20 kids. You want access to their dreamers vault? It's only five bucks. You supported that kid. We take the 10% transaction fee. The kid, the, the athlete gets the rest of the money. Now, now let's just say an athlete is going, you know, they did great in the football season, the little league football season, and they are going to Florida. They need to raise money for that so they can do an event donations. Right. We need to raise a thousand bucks. They can do event donations. So now you're already a supporter. You're more likely to help donate yeah. for that event. Right. right? Yep. And all dreams takes a, the 10 percent transaction fee. Now, mm -hmm. what else can the athlete do? They can make their own products. Right. So once they gain that community, now you can sell products to your audience, whether it's wristbands, note cards, T-shirts. Or that dream box collectible that you may have seen on my, you know, they can, you know, they can, they can do that. How else right. will we make money? Before the videos, advertising, mid, mid roll, pre roll, or whatever, advertising on the, on the, on the platform. So these are, this is our business model, all the ways that we are going to make money. Okay. Yeah. Our go to market strategy. How do we, how do we get this out to the, you know, to our customers, our potential customers? Of course, like, let's look at, athlete influencer marketing. I'll just put one specifically is Jamal Crawford and his son, JJ Crawford, right? Like we can go directly to Jamal Crawford and say, yo, won't you put JJ Crawford on a platform or whatever, and we'll pay for that. And you guys promote it. Influencer marketing, right? Grassroots marketing, going to little league organizations, going to AAU teams, and sponsoring them, you know, in order to talk to their, their, their parents about the, you know, about this platform. Hey, your, your kids should be on this platform and this is the way it's going to benefit you. Right. Partnership with coaches, same thing. Right. And then long and short form content, exactly what I'm doing every single day is showing the journey of a former athlete that's building a company and why they should you know why they should join the platform. So that's our go to market strategy. Our competition, huddle, you know, huddle. Huddle is our competition. People, athletes can put their videos on huddle right now and send a link to coaches, right? Instagram, of course, all athletes right now they have these Instagram profiles. And then GoFundMe. 
Athletes right now, they raising money for whatever they're doing. That's our competition. But the difference is um, our underlying magic is we're oh, all one. Yeah. And we are better, faster, and better packaged because we are dedicated for athletes. Definitely. Okay? Huddle is dedicated for athletes in one sense, but their main thing is they want to tape all of the okay. games, right? And then extract the, the highlights, right? And then that's what they do. Instagram, we all know what Instagram, it's the, it, Instagram is for everybody. It's not dedicated for athletes. How do you just go find an athlete on Instagram if they're not in your algorithm? Right. Don't fund me. An athlete wants to raise money. Obviously, they're going against so many different people to raise money. Somebody had a house fire. I'm mm -hmm. probably going to donate to that to the, to that family more than I'm going to donate to an athlete. Okay? Yeah. So that's why we are better, faster, and better. I mean, we're better, first off, faster, and better packaged for amateur athletes. Right? Yeah. Our traction to date, man, um, February 23, I found out this this was something, right? When I connected my first dreams, my first supporters to actual athletes. Um, Harleen was a skateboarder. Uh, I told this, I made a, the Dream Skate Company hat for him. And I told a guy about him, saying, yo, he's trying to go to Bogota for a competition. Yo, the guy said, man, of course, man, I would support that. All right? Um, Miguel, baseball player. We made a collection called... Uh, um, sluggers or whatever, all dream sluggers. And I told a guy that's living here, so yo, this kid, he, you know, we paying for his baseball training. Would you want to buy a couple of shirts and get in? Of course, he wanted to go meet the kid, you know, so he met the kid. So now I'm like, okay, this is a thing where we are connecting dreamers to, you know, amateur athletes, dreamers to actual supporters. So people would support if they knew about people, you know, athletes, and they knew that the athlete needed something, right? They would do that. Miguel, that All Dream Slugger, they put that t-shirt out there. They sold 55 of those t-shirts for him to support whatever he was doing towards his athletic career. So in June, so also Angie, she's a, she's, we, I didn't put her, her in there, but she actually raised money through her, uh, what was it, Dream Girl collection as well. You know, people wanted that. Um, so, that's when I seen in June, I'm like, yo, we need to make an actual platform for this. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like this actually can be, cause we wanted to, my dream was like, all right, let's support a million dreamers. How can I make a million collections? Can't make right. a million collections, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's impossible. We need, how can we scale this? Okay, we need to make a platform for this. Yeah, November, oh, I'm sorry. November, we had the, we did the wireframe. February launched. Uh, a website to see uh, and actually had a kid named Noah, the football player, whereas um, he made a, we made a vault for him. He actually got supporters to buy his box or whatever. Um, but the problem lied that Noah would have to send us all of his videos and we would have to upload his videos. That process was too hard. Right. right. So we stopped that completely. Then I partnered with Bo Bell. He had a, you know, he has a basketball academy and we have access, you know, that's how I started to talk to customers to know that customers wanted it more because I'm talking to his kids and his parents in the basketball academy. So I'm just getting more data that this is needed over and over again. So up until like April, 2024, just a little bit of revenue because we, you know, we're still just getting data and then they, that's when I started to go out to do the accelerators and stuff, you know. June, I got picked for Launch New York. So we're in Launch New York. So and all the other ones, they said no. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You got the, you got the, this is the sauce though. So, I mean, yeah. you really, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, based off of, you know, the data and everything like that, that's, that's fine that they did say no, but yeah. I feel like, this is perfect for you, you know what I'm saying? And, and, oh, and longevity. That's dope. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah. So we so we almost we almost done. So this is this is something that I just learned in the in the in, in the in the class, and you're gonna take this to your business. You know what I'm saying? Your business, you're gonna utilize this as well. Okay. So it's called Tam Sam Sam. Okay. And what this is is the total available market is Tam, right? So 
through our research, we found that it's 450 million athletes that have access to our app worldwide. Okay. Huge, huge market. Like, but what's, we can't reach 450 million people. It's just mm. impossible. Right. So where will we start? We're going to start in the United States with 35 million people that's in our addressable market. And then how many can we, what can we dominate? I, I think we can dominate 6.8 of those. And let's just talk lower scale because I have a video coming out today with what my coach said. He said, look, 35 million, just say at that 1%, that's 350,000 users. Yeah. At that $75 range, we are over $26 million ARR which is annual recurring revenue. It's a pretty good business. That's that, that's, that's that, that's that 1% of that, that that's only 350,000 users, which is still a small business with this. We said that we would be more at 3 million users in between three to five years, $70 million in revenue. So that's with 3 million users, but with, 350,000 users on a lower scale, we still would be at 26 million annual return in revenue. So that's a good business, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a good business. Um, so this just goes into like the market size, $30 billion a year. It's 1.8 billion athletes, 10 to 24, 40% play sports, 60 six uh have mobile phones and that's how i came up with the 450 million right to have access to the app um this is market validation 67 percent of children that's six that's ages six to 17 play organized sports that's a lot of that's a lot of kids it's a lot of kids 67 percent play some type of sport so what i'm just doing right here i'm just validating the market more okay and this is the team that we have me bo bell uh, my mother's season advisor, and then I have another advisor, Abe Thomas, and then I also have a development team. We switched development teams because I had a, a, a CTO and uh, didn't work out with him, but we have a, a completely new development team. I didn't put them on there, and I'm going to send you this deck so you can have for yourself because this is the demo of it, and then um, this is the final page of it. So shoot, any questions? That's the presentation. That's what, that's it. That's the pitch. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. So first of all, you know, it was definitely I like the way that it was uh, you know, very well organized. And then in addition to that, looking at sports as a business from young is gonna be very important for the for the children too. That's why I feel like this is definitely a good, a good angle because you know, a lot of us, you know, they we play sports for fun. You know what I'm saying? We don't do it any other way. And when it's time to come, you know, get coaches and things, because I, I have I have friends and one of my friends, you know, he was he he went all American and you know he play, he played in the NFL and and now he's you know similar to your your story. Like this the story is very, very much similar. Um right. he uh he played at he played for Pitt, um, you know, he played at ECC mm-hmm. and then basically he ended up going to the NFL and then after everything, you know, he ended up getting cut by the coach. Right. And then from there, you know, he had to kind of figure out, all right, what am I going to do now? And then okay. from there, we, me and him ended up doing, doing music. Right. So you know, I've been, you know, that's why it's ironic that, you know, you know, both of your stories kind of line together. So ironically, you know, fast forward to now, he's going to be uh, coaching at his, at uh, ECC. So he's going to be doing coaching and he, and he has a lot of kids that, that he trains and that, that reaches out to him. So I'll definitely, you know what I mean, have, you know, have the link for him to, to share with his kids too, but that way that they have that organization, because that's really what it's about, you know what I mean? Right, right. I'm not sure how the people that, you know, want to take advantage of the kids are going to feel being that they're organized, but I feel like this is excellent for the kids that, you know, that need that, that support, you know, they got a bike, like, yes, just yesterday I had to buy my son cleats, mouthpiece for football, you know what I mean? And if we would have been saving already, then, you know, right. it would have been, you know what I mean? And then, but I, I definitely admire the business sense of it and everything like that. Right. Um, what I was going to ask was, let's see. So would you, just, would you uh, send like a, like a, a particular link to the, to the child or would the parent have to set it up to get them logged on? 
Yeah, so basically, it would be just like you log, just it's like how it would work is people just log, it would just be just the same as you making an account on Instagram, right? It would be the exact same thing. And what they would do, not, they would just send their, their unique link, say you got a nephew, they would be sending you, yo, support, you know, and, and, they, and they would, their profile would be right there, everything would right, right there, and you'll be able to, it's a tab that says support my dream. And they'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to follow their journey right there. Like the platform is super, super easy. Like that's why I just can't, I can't wait till the, fl the platform is complete because, bro, like I'm telling you, it's going to change. It's going to change stuff crazy. because, like, yeah. simplicity, like, it's so it's simple, but it's effective. Yeah, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? So yeah, they would just send the link, and like I said, like the like the reason we're better is because it's just all in one. You want to search for an athlete? You know what I'm saying? Like. You just go to all dreams, You're like in basketball. Oh, I was showing, oh, I want to search for a kid in Colombia that's a baseball player. I, I, yeah, I got fifty bucks. I want to support him or whatever. Or they send you the unique link, so it's it's really really easy in that sense. Definitely. Yeah. Now, uh, what I was going to also ask you: Did your overseas experience playing ball overseas influence where you are now, as far as living space, like living overseas? No. It, no, I didn't because all I wanted to do was get my money tax free and come back to the United States and show everybody that I made it and it was more for everybody else than it was for myself. Like it was more to show people. It was more because I had a chip on my shoulder to show people that I did it and that, right. you know, that I had, you know, now I made money from playing basketball it was more of that so this was complete like before I came here on vacation in 2022 in May I was just like everybody else I'm living in Buckhead and I'm thinking I'm gonna live in Buckhead and I'm gonna live this life until until not then I came here I'm like yo I don't really want I'm, I don't really want to build a box truck company <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm like I just don't you know what I mean I really don't want to build a box truck company I actually want to help athletes, but I had suppressed it for so long because it was so, it was, it was, I mean, it was, it was traumatizing for me. And it just kind of somewhere erupted out of me like, damn, yo, some way, somehow, I just, it just always circles back to the main, you know what I mean? The main thing, which was, sports. yeah, like the, it just come, it just somehow, some way, it just always circled back to sports and, and athletics. So, yo, I need to really pay attention to this. And that's how, you know what I mean? And that's how, like, yo, I ain't driving no truck no more. Right. I, I don't and, care how much money you can make. Right. And, and I can tell that you're going through, like, your own, like, spiritual journey. What was your uh, turning point? Because, again, like, the lifestyle and the women, you know, which I heard you talk about a lot, which I'm, I'm currently, like, going through. Not going through too much, but, like, that's that's one of my pain points where I need to, you know, I can shift my focus a little bit, the woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wasn't like everybody. Yeah. So I, was, so I wasn't like everybody because I wasn't fulfilled. I wasn't, uh, it just, it didn't validate me. Right. So when I did it, when I was doing it, it was, it was, it was cool, but these people, they wanted to do it forever. And it, and it was, it was a validating thing for them. Mm -hmm. I've always, you know, I, I've always had, I've always had, had women. Like it's not, it's not something where I had, where I, I had got money and then I got women. It was like, you know, like, I'm not validated. I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be happy. I'm not like you people because I have a different purpose. The things that you guys are doing is fine. It don't make me no better. It doesn't make me no worse. It doesn't make you no better. It doesn't make me no worse. It's just different. I need to pay attention to that. Right. And that's, you know, and, and that's what it was. You're, you're, I'm not put in this situation for no reason. I had to pay attention to it. So when sure. I met a kid, the John Davis kid, and he working on the beach and he's, you know, I can't, I can't play soccer no more. I'm 19 years old because I got to work on the beach. And wow. I tell you, you tell me a story and you say, oh, you know, I'm filming with him and say, oh, let me take you to my neighborhood. And I meet five mm -hmm. other kids. And I'm like, yo, none of these kids is going to achieve their dream. I don't right. you know what I'm saying. Like, like this is it. Like, they may think that they, you know, they, you know, that they can actually do this. But this is an example. This one, this one guy, John Davis, sober for him. He's the athletics. 
no matter how good that he was or he could have been. Um, and these kids don't have no idea what kids are doing in the United States, and they ain't gonna be able to ever be able to compete. And that's why I was like, yo, like this has to be happening all over the world. Sure. To give right. them a chance. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yo, I I, I like, yo, I have to pay attention to sure. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to pay attention. There's some reason why I'm in this damn barrio meeting these kids. Because that's not what I wanted. Right. It's, it's not, it wasn't like I planned to be like, yo, I'm gonna go, you know, nah, nah. I was on vacation. I was going back to hop, to get my to hop in that truck. Mm. And then I was like, nah, I'm selling it. So yeah, that's my answer for that. That's right. So in regards to the profiles, what would, like is it are are there tiers for the profiles? So say for an example, you got a package to where the child can access, um, they can they can upload photos, videos, bio, mm -hmm. and stats. Is there another one where you could like offer like development of? all of those things with the stats and then like a merch line or is that something that would be separate i don't have anything that's, much no, that's, that's, a, that's a good question so it's free for all users right they don't have so it's free for all users they don't have to get the 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 the, the, the 7.99 per month tier the 7.99 per month or the 74 dollars per year tier that opens up them to launch different their products store mm -hmm. unlimited videos Mm. Right. That's what that's that's what that. And then once as a business standpoint, when I look at it, once their videos are stored, they're going to continue to pay because their videos are all their athletic videos are all in one place. So whether they start playing in sixth grade and then they've done it all the way to high school or college, all of their all of their stuff is in one place where they can go back and have their athletic stuff in one place instead of like, yo, like. I got shit on VHS. You understand what I'm saying? I got stuff everywhere. I, I just want all my journey in one place. At least I know where my one my sports journey is, all in one place. And that's what, you know, and so they don't, it's free for everybody. But if you want to, you, you know, so you might be able only to upload 10 videos on a free. But you want to unlimited and you want to sell products. You're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna you're gonna pay the 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 dreamers vault, the premium for the dreamers vault premium premium account, basically. 